I am trying out a new camera that I'll tell you more All about. Right, let's take a look here. webcam that I'm checking out and unboxing. Thank you very much for sending this to me. And Sornor, I'll have to double check the pronunciation. Okay. So we got some of this information about the system. The box opens this way. Got some great features that I'm going to be checking out. Ooh, wow. That is a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, wow. That's how that works. All right, let's plug it in and take a look. Wow. So this is an all-in-one conference cam. AI face recognition, built-in audio, double talk, noise reduction, echo cancellation. Wow. Okay. Be on a laptop that way. I'll look into that, but it does have a way to set this up. So take a look so this does move but I think what I'm going to do first is put it on another stand and use this as an additional webcam as well so let's just take a look it's got a nice long cord so here in zoom I'm going to pick AI computer. That's better. Just have to be aware. Oh, there's also a sticker. So there's a sticker. So bad if I talk this way is a different view. My name is Patricia Regeer. I am testing again this brand new, it's a, a webcam speaker and mic all in one. It's a great option for your conference room and it has a built in AI, zoom in on its own. So if I back up here, so that's the pros and cons. It, that just zoomed in on its own, which is great. I could move around the room slightly. Let's see if it will turn to me. Wow, this is pretty neat. Okay, I don't want it to sh show you my mess. Let's zoom in. Okay, and then if I move over here, wow, 
that it's doing that automatically would work really well in a hybrid blended audience situation where you're in the room, you're maybe moving around, talking to your audience, your participants, and also sharing this online if you're you're moving around. Now, in my office, I don't want to show you everything off center how I would normally be um, talking to you, but this is pretty neat that it does that automatically. I do see pros and cons to it. Sometimes I would like to be able to control it and, um, you know, crop. I can just move the camera slightly uh, to, to show the frame. And right now I've got a limited setup, but I'm pretty pleased with the camera quality. It's fairly good in a situation where you can set this up on a tripod and be able to move around is pretty spectacular. It is also a speaker and mic. So I'm gonna test out right now. I think I'm using the mic on this new option. I'm gonna switch back to my typical mic and let's test the difference. And see, that's with my Blue Yeti mic. Uh, the one I typically use, and let's just for the heck of it, this is my other webcam, uh, Logitech Brio, the mic that's behind the one I'm testing right now. So this is coming up as the microphone USB speakerphone option as my select microphone in Zoom. And I will share this as screenshots in the blog related or uh, connected below. This is the difference with the Logitech Brio um, and for quality. Uh, with the Logitech, I can have an additional app where I zoom in and can control that. With the AI option um, here and sonar, and so this is what it looks like. I've just put it on this tripod, which isn't the best option because I can't get it as perfectly straight. Um, so I would definitely recommend using a different tripod situation. If I put it on top, it's kind of big to put it on my laptop, but it does have a different option here where you can prop it up. Now the video here just goes camera off up and down, which is pretty great. Auto framing on. Okay. And then there's a button back here. Camera I'll on. I'll show you that. Auto framing that on. Auto framing paused off or Auto paused off. Okay. Auto framing and on. so this is a speaker and a mic. It should adjust. <laughs> See, that's really um, close up, which is way too close for me. So it takes a little bit to get used to. Again, I'm not on the best tripod situation but it is adjusting um it's higher up than i'd like it to be so when i move back a little bit it should just down i think if i give it a second let's see okay so as i said i like it as an option in a live situation room where i can walk around talk to people it's a mic that might be in the middle of the room. So it's picking up um, than other people. And it doesn't turn around. I will be testing another device that might be better for that, but to capture everyone in the room. But this is definitely a good option. It's a great price point and it can capture the room and zoom in. Um, it has AI face recognition, built-in audio, DSP, double talk, noise reduction, echo cancellation. 
So they advertise as an all-in-one cam, uh, conference cam that meets all your needs. And I'll share all this information as well. So it's zooming out quite a bit. And there we go. So depending on if I'm holding up information, uh, words, it is zooming back out again, showing you more of the room than I'm wanting you to um, see, but it really will work in that big room situation where you're able to then move around a little bit. Um, let's go to that mic again to test that. Testing, testing. So that is with the mic and the camera. My name is Patricia Regeer. I'm a virtual facilitator. Okay, so that was through the speakers. It picked it up as the speaker source. Let me just double check that. USB speaker phone as the speakers. All right, so I'm showing you a new option for speaker, mic, and camera all in one. Here's the camera. What I do like is camera. that I can just close it. This gives you a good look at it. The, the back, that button for AI. This is a good option. I want to thank Insonar for sending me this webcam option so that I can review it and share it with you. Um, all the thoughts and feedback um, are my own. So it's not a sponsored video, but this was provided to me at no cost so that I could review this new option. So I'll give you another look as to what the box looks like from the company. I'll add links below as well for all of the additional information um, if you're interested. Thank you again for in focus to send me this new webcam that is a is a great option. Now I'm on the Logitech, Logitech right now. I've liked this camera. But as you can see, when I move around, it does go out of focus. I did not experience that with this, this webcam option. Auto framing paused. Because even though if it didn't zoom in quite always the way I want it to in my office room framing, in a larger room, it would work quite effectively that I it would follow me a little bit. Um, if I stay within the frame, I did not see any autofocusing issues. Uh, it does take a moment to zoom in on its own. And it does that with um, camera off. It does that on its own where I'm not having to adjust. So there is a lot of advantages to having that uh, and some things to consider for when you're making your different equipment choices. And especially when you're putting together a kit for those hybrid blended audience um, contexts where you're needing to set up some different cameras, mics, and, um, and speakers, bring your equipment that it's portable, that it's affordable, and um, that it does the job. So thanks for checking out this review. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this product, and if there are other videos that you're interested in, I look forward to bringing more. There's one back there uh, that I'll need to review yet as well uh, that I purchased myself. So uh, thanks again. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Education and helping you create engaging learning experiences to turn an audience into participants. Thanks again.